The time has come. The historic lunar landing. Not much safety on docking. But my other stats are looking pretty good. I have some decent reconnaissance of the moon. So hopefully they'll make up for my shortcomings. It's time to cross the fingers and pray once again. Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit. We have. We have lift off. Lift off at seven fifty one a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I should probably talk about something. If you can hear me over this. This is a loud rocket. It looks good. What you can also do is get a reusable shuttle. Have that XMS 15, I believe was the name. It's expensive and hard to research, but it's reusable, unlike the capsules and all your other equipment. And then you can use four people. Four people makes things safer. You can have specialist. What else can we talk about? We can talk about the Jupiter spacecraft. We need a Nova rocket to launch that. So right there, there's about 210 initial cost. Then your research will probably make it around 300, 350. That's at least three years of your budget. Providing there is no malfunctions. But it does save you the cost of having to use lunar modules or docking. A little helps if you do those steps anyways. And so far we're doing so good. It's the docking I'm worried about. Okay, we're looking good. With that safety factor of 45. Do you think we can actually get on the moon? It will be historical. Uh-oh. We have a problem. The lunar deorbit burn did not happen. Oh, no, never mind. The cricket worked. It was a false alarm. Thank goodness. And our photo reconnaissance is all good. That means we won't have a penalty for trying to land. Four forward. Four forward, just into the right And I'm probably going to hex myself by saying this, but the random generating number that I'm going against is being rather generous. So let's have people Four bounce on the moon. Right. Okay, engine stop. And of course those famous Four lines. Get down, Eagle. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. I love these guys, seriously. And you do not want to get stranded on the moon. So that's why you have plenty of equipment to launch yourself from the moon. 
Hey again, they're staying cosmonauts. I'm thinking with the Soyuz program, they just leave people on the moon. But it does not count unless you get all the way safely back on this mission. And we have our problem here. Yeah, I was afraid that docking was going to cause problems. That means we're going to take some penalties and use an alternative path. Yep, they had to do a spacewalk instead of docking with the uh, lunar module there. And it looks like they were successful, thank goodness. So you do have some alternate planes, just in case something does go out on these longer missions. And once again, the question is, who is driving? Space food. Secondly, pretty good. Anyway, on our 8 to 12 day mission, it looks like it's coming towards an end. And if I next two steps go good, we'll be heroes. And democracy will prevail over communism. Oh my, that was also pretty close. So what does this mean? It means I are successful. Amazingly. Surprisingly, the computer did horribly in this crap. You can always challenge yourself with different types of settings, different types of approaches to the moon, or you can try to be the Soviets. Looks like I didn't quite succeed in what I wanted to. Developments in the news today. An astronaut is leaving the space program. The individual announced that to always happens. the Air Force test pilot program. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkwright. Hmm. I guess because we didn't actually make it from the moon in total success, it didn't count. Strange. But now you see, uh, our safety factor is very, very safe. So what happens if I try to get fancy? Let's try to go get fancy. See all those steps? That step is the safest. Seriously. Beginners try to do this. More advanced people can try this all the way to point X. So I'll try that. Sure, why not? Oh yeah, I forgot, we have a historical lunar mi mission going on. So I'll let you watch the full video of that. And I'll take care of something. And then we'll be Annie Rose. Hey, 
Roger, Periscope has retracted. That's the first Periscope to cut. Wayne bus 24, folks. 26 hours. We have commit, we have, we have liftoff, liftoff at 7.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tower clear, 13 seconds.
developments in the news today. Senator Crutchmeyer sharply attacked the space program today. Speaking before the Senate, he accused space officials of lavish spending and strongly urged funding cuts. And that's the news. I'm Carter Walkright. <laughs> 